Well, good morning. It's raining right now. I have an umbrella above the camera to keep the camera safe. I don't mind being in the rain myself, but rather not lose my expensive camera here. So, um, please forgive the umbrella here. But I wanted to get this video done as a reply to the thousand-dollar challenge to Trinitarians because um, it went exactly as I thought it would. Uh, again, I do a lot of videos. If you don't understand, I do a lot of videos to prove things to save brethren, okay, and to show how bad the enemy is when confronted with facts and with truth. And I saw this thing over and over again about how that I said I asked for a plural form of person, which would be persons, okay? And people said, well, what about the word Elohim? Because Elohim can mean plural gods. So it's a Hebrew word there. Uh, okay. And that, see, because Elohim can be translated, you know, in the plural... Uh, it can be interpreted in the plural, then that means that person can also be interpreted in the plural. I mean, these people are so brilliant, it's just incredible. Uh, no. Okay. Um, Elohim is both singular and plural. If you study it, okay, it can be either one. It depends on the context in which it appears. Okay, let me give you an example of that. Oh look, there's a deer over there. How many deer am I talking about? Only one. Okay. Oh look. Wait till the car goes by. Um, look at all those deer. Okay, is it one or more than one? More than one. You say, no, it can't be. You said the same word, deer in both cases. Uh, but look at the context in which it appears. If I say there is a deer, that means one. If I say there's those deer over there, that's more than one. It's the same word, but it depends on the context. You need a word to um, basically prove what you're talking about. All right? Um, it's not that way with the word person. If I say, look at all those person over there. No. Uh, oh, there's a person standing up in front of me here. Well, obviously, a person would be a um, reference to a singular person. All right, I think it stopped raining. Um, at least pretty bad. Anyhow, it's not raining like it was. A person versus those person. No. Um, see, to make the word person plural, you have to add an S at the end. Okay? Uh, Trinitarians don't seem to understand the basic laws of English and the laws of logic and science and reason. Um, the word, there are, there's no such thing in the King James Bible uh, as uh, persons. And, you know, and all these Trinitarians, it's, it just cracks me up. They fight and fight on this. And they, You're wrong, Brian. There's, Christians have believed in, in the Trinity doctrine for centuries. And we can prove that there are multiple persons. We can prove, we can use Elohim to prove that there are, you know, that you can say gods with the word Elohim. We can prove it. Uh, well, you know what you just did? Um, you just proved me right. You see, I teach that the Trinitarian doctrine is actually a pagan um, system of belief. It's actually pagan. And when you try to prove, uh, when you try to prove that there, you can say Elohim and mean gods, and that you can prove that there are persons, then, you see, we proved it. Yes, you have proved that you have a pagan idol. Congratulations. Um, you apparently don't understand when you've been trapped and cornered and made to look like a fool. Um, there is only one God mentioned in Scripture. All right? So if you have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and these those three are not the same, um, they're all co-equal in their, in their divine essence. They all wear the same lady's perfume. but um, And it's true, divine essence is female perfume. And there's no scripture for it, so I'm not guilty of blaspheming or anything. But uh, they're all, there's three, but they're just one. Uh, okay, then you have a problem. You just lied about scripture because the, the scripture doesn't say that. The scripture does not say that there are three gods, but they're just one God. There are three persons, but they're just one person. Or, well, you wouldn't even say one person. That's, that's called heresy. That's what I believe. That's what I teach. 
okay? Three parts to one being. And I have a whole study proving that. Okay, that there are there's scriptures for multiple parts of God for multiple members. One, you know, one body, but many members. Okay. So um the the reasoning and the rationale behind it. And of course, you know, I've seen people, well, Christians have believed it for centuries. You don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that at all. What you're doing is you're repeating a Roman Catholic lie. Um, it's absolutely nonsense. You know, the King James translators, oh, they were, they were Trinitarians. Oh, yeah. 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 But you know what? Their personal beliefs didn't go into the translation work that they were doing. Uh, otherwise, it would say Trinity. It would say God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. It would say persons, three persons. They didn't put it in there. The translators of the King James Bible, um, probably a lot of them were lost, to be very frank with you. But uh, God can use lost people to do his work. And those guys were tremendous scholars and very brilliant. Um, but that doesn't mean that they, everything that they, that they believed in their own personal life was perfect and pure. It doesn't mean that for one second. You know, um, hey, my mechanic at the garage I go to, he does a really great job. Does an excellent job. He knows vehicles. Uh, excellent mechanic. That means he's saved because he understands the truth or something. No, that means he's, he's a good mechanic. He's good at what he does. You get a translator, a scholar of the English language that knows Greek and Hebrew and ancient languages. Doesn't mean he has to be saved. He just says, okay, I'm going to take these the best Greek text that we have and the best old Bibles that we have, including the old Latin Vulgate, and I'll make a good translation out of it. You know, and if you've, you know, have record of what every Christian believed down through the centuries, okay, then you can talk to me about Christians have always believed this way, but you don't have record of everybody and of all that they've believed. No, you don't. So, uh, Elohim does not prove persons all right get that through your thick skulls out there and open up your mind again i'm trying to exalt jesus christ i'm trying to magnify him and get him up there's no being higher than jesus christ all right that's what i believe so that'll be it i'm going to end this here because the bugs are biting me in the head and i can't do anything about it uh not too much fun so um I'm going to do some other videos today, probably, but for now, I'll stop. So that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.